Good tidings, Iron Tyrant here with a second instalment of my premium weapon series, where I look at the higher costing weapons and determine if they are worth their lofty price tag. In this episode, we look at what many regard to be outright best LMG in the game. Many of you will now know what I'm talking about, but for those who don't, this is of course the Vanu Sovereignty's SVA-88. This weapon's description reads, The SVA-88's overclocked discharge coil allows it to fire plasma at a higher velocity than other weapons in its class. When firing at long distances, the user will need to lead targets much less than usual. So, how does it fare? As usual, let's get the cost of this weapon out of the way first. This gun has a hefty price tag of 500 certs or 700 SC, but at the top of the table of weapon prices in an SC perspective. Apart from the special weapons such as their gold NS commissioner. I personally believe this gun to work best in medium to short range combat, so anywhere up to 50 meters or so depending on what you class as death medium range. This gun owes its success in close quarters combat to three key factors. The first of being its very competitive fire rate of 698 rounds per minute, a dead tie for second place over a Pulsar LSW, second of course to the default Orion and its fearsome 750 rounds per minute. Although there are fast firing guns available, I've never thought or really found myself at any real disadvantage in close ranges when using the SVA, apart from when fighting against shotguns that is. But for the rest of the gun market, I feel like I am generally able to hold my own and most of the time outclassed for competition with this gun. Up close, this gun also has the ability to hit fire to a reasonably high standard, which is the second key factor for this gun for its close range domination ability. The gun's reload speed, however, is a bit of an issue with it being fairly long at 4.18 seconds for a long reload and 3.065 seconds for a short. Even though this is somewhat negated by the clip size, it still means you may have issues when reloading without cover on offer. This is especially when fighting multiple enemies in general close range, but generally speaking, because of the clip size, this shouldn't be of any real issue as long as you can manage your reloads effectively. The last key factor that helps this gun to be a terror in close range is its clip size of 75 rounds with 225 in reserve, which for the sake of detail is the only smaller than the Polaris clip size of 100 rounds. This also has a slower fire rate of 652 rounds, reducing its effectiveness in close ranges. Anyway, back to the SVA. Its clip size of 75 gives an advantage over some other close range guns, as it means that you need to reload less often, so you can engage more enemies without the need to reload, as you would have done if using the default Orion. When it comes to medium ranges, the SVA-88 is still a very competitive gun. The main reason for this is its muzzle velocity, a very nice 630 meters per second, meaning less tracking is needed for taking on targets at range. In terms of where it falls to the other LMGs on offer to a Vanu, it is the second highest available, but there isn't too much in it either way, with the highest muzzle velocity being 640 meters per second, shared by both the NS-15M and the Ursa. The slowest ironically being the hard hitting longer range intended flare at only 600 meters per second. The damage of the SVA-88 also helps it somewhat in medium ranges, as the drop off isn't of any real huge difference. Within 10 meters it hits at 143 damage per bullet, and drops off to 125 at 65 meters. This is the same damage as all the Vanu LMGs, apart from the hard hitting flare and Ursa, but these lack the close range effectiveness of the SVA-88 because of their slower fire rates. In terms of longer range engagements, the SVA-88 starts to struggle compared to its longer range rivals, these being the Flare and Ursa. First off its damage, as mentioned literally a minute ago, at 65 metres and beyond, the SVA will be punching in at 125, whereas the harder hitting weapons will be hitting at 143, a difference of 18, which may not seem like a lot, but this will still make a difference in a fight. The muzzle velocity of the SVA stands in very good stead at longer ranges. As discussed previously, it clocks at an impressive 630 meters per second, but it just behind the Ursa at 640 meters per second. The main issue with its gun at range is the side to side recoil, which makes it very difficult to land bullets on target at range. This, along with the vertical recoil of this gun, does make it really hard to land bullets on target compared to the likes of the Ursa and Flare. The only small salvation at range is the ability of the SVA to swap to a semi auto firing mode. But this still isn't a big help, if you're stuck at fighting at longer ranges it is still preferable to fighting with a full auto function, as it means you can manage your bullets a lot easier. Although it does struggle at longer ranges, the SVA is still 
to some degree usable because of its high muzzle velocity. It means that though you may have to work your ass off to control the recoil, at least you won't have to lead the target to a huge degree. Plus it has a no bullet tr drop trait of the Vanu specific weapons, so this is one less thing you have to worry about. So let's talk attachments. This of course is what I would recommend and suits my playstyle. Other people may like different loadouts, but anyway, let's move on to the loadouts that I would recommend. As usual, I would recommend two loadouts for this gun. One up close, and one for medium onwards. Starting with the up close and personal loadout. For the sight, I would recommend a 2x reflex sight. So when you do need to aim down the sights, there is some magnification there. For the rail, I would recommend a laser, to further improve the hip firing. And for the barrel, a suppressor to help stay hidden on the minimap. I wouldn't recommend the high velocity ammo at this range because it's not really needed. So this brings it to a combined cost of 230 certs for the attachment, add this to the price of a gun and you will be paying a devastating 730 certs if you buy the gun with certs only. Alternatively, if you buy it with SC it would set you back 700 SC and 230 certs. Moving on to the medium onwards loadout. First up the sight, I would recommend a 4x the scope just to make engaging them targets at medium ranges that a little bit easier. For a barrel and rail, I would recommend the forward grip and compensator to help with that terrible recoil. And for the ammo, some might use high velocity ammo, but in my opinion, the additional muzzle velocity gained isn't worth the trade off of additional recoil, as the gun already has fairly good muzzle velocity and bad recoil. So, a total cost of 230 certs, meaning the cost is the same as with the short range loadout. So, in conclusion. The SVA 88 is a fearsome weapon in both close and medium ranges, down to its higher rate of fire, reasonable hit fire, and good muzzle velocity. It means you can simply tear through your targets. After 40 meters or so, the weapon starts to fall off and is less dominating, and so it's hard to control horizontal recoil. In semi automatic, is generally required. But all in all, the SVA 88 is definitely one of the best LMGs in the game, and is worth getting for any Vanu player. This has been Iron Tyrant again, over and out.